What is up, guys? And YKF31 here, Madden 25 Online League footage, TMW Online Franchise Season 2, Wild Card Playoff Game. Tennessee Titans hosting yours truly and the Houston Texans. Year 2, this is my first year in the league and controlling the uh, Texans. Gotta watch out for Chris Johnson. He's very dangerous and right on cue. I miss the attempt on the pass. I fall down, switching to my guy at safety. <sighs> Chris Johnson, in my opinion, is one of the top five most dangerous offensive players in the game because he can do what he just did there at any time. Either catching a pass or you know, running the ball, he can score at any time, anywhere on the field. He's right up there with Adrian Peterson, Deshaun Jackson, Jamal Charles. So, very fast. I am down 7-0. And I'm also down my two best players in this game. Both J.J. Watt and Andre Johnson out for the season. Both got hurt very early. Not very early, but both got hurt uh, late in the season, for the remainder of the season. And there goes Chris Johnson again. And that's going to really come into play as far as my pass rush and base defenses. Kind of hard to play Tampa, too, if you don't have that great under tackle. Like um, Warren Sapp. And that's what Watt was. My defense was number one in the league for most of the season. When Watt went down, it slipped and finished number three. So it just shows you how important he was to my style of play. Ricky Sapp and Marcellus Whitney both finished with um, eight sacks apiece. And they got most of their sacks because if Watt didn't get there, he would flush the quarterback into one of those two. They're just not quite good enough to really beat the stronger O-lines in the game on their own. If you don't have a Robert Freeney, Robert Freeney, Dwight Freeney, Robert Mathis combo there in their prime, or you don't have Julius Peppers, you better have a Warren Sapp. Ideally, you want a Warren Sapp and a Simeon Rice, or, you know, those two premier edge rushers, that one dominant edge rusher. And here on this play, Chris Johnson gets loose again. Shakes one guy on the back juke, and the other guy fell over the dude on the ground. So I'm down 21-14. This game has a look of a shootout so far. Andre Roberts with a great catch. Cousins put it right on the money, as Kirk Cousins has really developed into a beast. Led the league in passing yards, and doing some really good things with him. But there I misfire. 21-17 game. So, I got to get a stop. I got to stabilize this game. I got to hem in CJ2K somehow. And here is just a classic example of how Watt changes my defense. Four-man rush, I get nowhere. Nothing. I was fortunate that I was able to stop him on the scramble just short of the first down. As I was controlling Ricky Sapp, and Mike Roos is one of the better left tackles in this game. Sapp's not good enough to beat him. He's a speed rusher, and it's... Um, pass rush move is like an 89 and Roos is just blocking it's in the 90s and Marcellus Whitney same thing and here is what is called a game changing play going in to try to at least cut the lead to one or if not take the lead fact some fact <laughs> sack fumble which is picked up by him and returned all the way to the goal line. Now I'm down 28-17. Major, major momentum shift. But we're fighting. My rookie wide receiver breaks the press, and we dust off Peyton Hillis, and he gets me back on the board. So 28-14, and there we finally hem in Chris Johnson a little bit there. Not going to get him off the field. No, too much time base pass rush is not getting there play action again too much time so I'm gonna have to start blitzing plain and simple because we just cannot get home on a base pass rush the offensive line is too good Watts not there what I'm doing is not working so we gotta adapt and overcome and he has 35 points I gotta get the I gotta get moving 
And a holding penalty is not going to help. So we're facing some adversity here. Got to get points on this drive. Andre Roberts steps up big there. He played very well this game. And there's a classic run and shoot misfire. I thought he was bricking his route off. He cuts inside. Throw the ball right to the defender. Getting that iron tee would have been nice, but at least I stop him. So, got to get points here. Touchdown preferably. Field goal I'll take, but I get neither. I'm trying to bring some zone blitz pressure now. God. CJ is having one of those games. I get a good user block shed there. Some good pursuit here, but he just wiggles around. This is one of those nightmare CJ games. Tampa 2, drop. I force the ball into the safety, get him off the field. So I'm still alive. Let's go. Owen Daniels going to work. Owen Daniels again going to work. It's the Owen Daniels show right now. <laughs> he finally got his first touchdown of the season. He caught 100 balls, no touchdowns in the regular season. He finally got on the board. So, again, I need two scores. I want a touchdown, but I'll take the three if I have to settle for it. And then hopefully the onside kick. And Andre probably catches this. So, got to take my three. Don't want to, you know, risk going for it in fourth down. Try to get the onside kick. Don't get it. And that's going to be a wrap. Fought hard. Too many big plays allowed by CJ. That was really broke my back. And, you know, not having Watt really hurt. Really, really hurt. Not a lot of touches, but CJ did a lot of damage on those touches, which is what he can do. And here's that uh, toss sweep play. Back jukes, and my other defender looks like one of my safeties trips over the guy who dove and missed, and that's a wrap. So, try again in Season 3. Hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you all later. Peace.